In this video, I'm going to show you two rack wireless um, mesh tastic devices I've built. I've got two of their WizBlock mesh tastic starter kits. Uh, on this side, we've just got the uh, rack 19007 baseboard and accessories. And on this side here, we've got the rack 19003 baseboard. I'll just so show you the small one first. So that's just the starter kit I've got for this one. So as you can see, the board is very small. Um, this is essentially the baseboard, it's the 19003. Um, and it comes up comes with the NRF uh, module as well. So I'll just take the Bluetooth antenna away. Um, this is a very bare minimum, so it doesn't have the OLED display. Um, essentially, it's just the NRF NRF board. Um, these use very little power compared to the ESP32. Um, so I've had this powered by two 300 milliamp hour batteries uh, wired in parallel so essentially 600 milliamp hours um, this has been running for over two days now and it's still got a fair bit of power left in it um, so it's still in testing phases at the moment so I'll be interested to see how long it lasts it could be three to four days of just those batteries and it's very small so it's easy to put this in your pocket or in your bag somewhere and just have a, a node with you at all times. So I was put together. Um, this case is available on printables, but I have adapted it to make it smaller and fit my battery. So uh, I'll put a link to the original case. Uh, you can download and print for yourself. that's it there uh, as you can see it's very small um, the only thing it's got on it is essentially just a switch so you can turn it on and off so yeah it's just nice and easy to carry um, so I really recommend the 19003 if you just want a, a very basic build um, this works perfectly so that's gonna be my everyday carry one now and it's good that it doesn't have a screen, so I don't have to worry about it getting scratched or any buttons to getting pressed, etc. Um, so this has been running for, like I said, two days now, and still got um, a lot of battery power left in it still. So be interested to see how long it actually lasts um, when I finish um, doing some further testing on it. And the next build that I've done is. Um, it is based off this starter kit. So in this um, starter kit you get the 19007 baseboard which is a lot bigger so you can add a lot more um, modules onto it. So with the, um, the design of these boards it's very modular so you can um, custom customize how you want the board to be. So you can have like a GPS on it. So this one's got a GPS um, it comes up comes with the NRF board module. Sorry, um, it also has the accelerometer sensor on the back. 
So this is accelerometer accelerometer sensor, and I've also added an additional environmental sensor on this one. Um, yeah, and they come with the OLED display. So this one's just running um, a two thousand milliamp hour battery. Um, I've got to switch to it. So that's the back, and at the front we've just got the GPS antenna, the LoRa antenna, um, this is the Bluetooth antenna, and we've just got the OLED display there. So I'll put this one together. So yeah, I really um, recommend these rack wireless um, boards if you want to build your own, if you like tinkering um, and building something from scratch. They're really good, um, fun project to do. They've also released um, the, the rack, rack whiz mesh pocket now. So essentially it's a all-in-one device. So it's already pre-built, it's got a case for it, um, it's got a 3200 milliamp battery. So if you if you don't like building your own things and you want something that's already ready to go, um, I highly recommend that. That's just come out recently so I haven't got my hands on it, um, but it definitely looks like a promising product. But yeah, so just looking at the, the quality of the actual boards that I've received, they're really good. So. Yeah, so essentially the uh, whiz mesh pocket will be similar to this, but it's um, a bit bigger, a um, bit bigger battery, um, and it's ready to go. So you don't have to worry about getting a, a case 3D printed or wiring it up yourself if you don't like doing that sort of stuff. Um, personally, I like tinkering and making things, so it was perfect for me to actually get the Meshtastic starter kits. Um, they're also good for doing like making solar um, nodes or whatever you want. So the good thing is it's very customizable to what you want to do. Um, this case is available on printables as well and I'll put the link in the description. I've had to edit it a bit for my needs. So I've added a push button on the side and a on and off switch. And this device is quite small as well, um, for what it is. So yeah, what I've added is essentially, I've got a switch, on and off switch, um, and I've got a push button switch there for the user, um, the user button, so I'll turn it on. Yeah, even the quality of the OLED display is really good. So I've received stuff from AliExpress um, and other places, but just the, even the OLED display is like high quality. I think it's still loading a bit. Um, but yeah, so if you want to build something yourself, I highly recommend um, the Rack Wireless um, starter kits. Or like I said, if you want something that's ready to go, um, have a look at the new Wiz Mesh Pocket. And hopefully in the future I'll be building a bit more mesh tastic devices. I'm thinking about building a solar node, solar node, solar node, sorry. Um, so yeah, look out for my future videos and I hopefully you enjoyed. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.